This is Next Weather. All right, Casey, so we talked about this earlier. We saw some clouds out there, but that doesn't necessarily mean we'll see rain. Yeah, you know, it should be pretty quiet today, tomorrow, and even through Tuesday. Our next best chance for rain will come Wednesday as our next cold front moves through, and that bumps up our rain chances to about a 50% chance. Right now, out the door, we're currently dry. We have a lot of dry air still settling in across areas, so this is going to prevent really much rain from forming today. Wouldn't quite rule out a couple showers trying to work their way towards the coast, but it's just going to be hard to keep those going as they will be moving in across uh, along the sea breeze. So we're mainly dry today. Temperatures right now warmer than yesterday. Middle 70s is what we're waking up to as opposed to the 60s that we had yesterday. Starting to warm things up thanks to some of that cloud cover and the fact that winds are going to be primarily more to the east today. High pressure is still building to north of us is what keeps us in this quiet weather pattern. Now notice what we're already tracking though. A cold front extending up from portions of the northern plains out through portions of the middle Mississippi River Valley, Texas into New Mexico. This is our next front that will be moving through by the middle of this week, and it is going to be bringing us the coolest air we've had so far this season. Now, in the meantime, out ahead of that, we're actually going to be warming things up today and also tomorrow. We are going to be a little bit warmer. Warming trend will continue, but we keep it the mainly dry conditions. Not much to show you on a rain tracker. Notice this is trying to pull in a couple showers. Again, I just think it's going to be tough to get these going. If you're heading out to the Dolphins game, for instance, today should be good to go. Expect a mix of clouds and sun. I do think a little bit more cloud cover today compared to what we had yesterday with a little bit more moisture to work with. High temperatures, lower 80s is where we'll top off at, just about a degree or so above average. Lows tonight fall back into the 70s, so another milder start to the day. And again, that warming trend continues at least through Wednesday as we start to see those winds shift back around to the south. Here's that front moves through during the day on Wednesday, brings us a line of some showers, possibly an isolated storm or two, and then it clears out. By Thursday, we're dry. Friday, Saturday, we're dry, and then we'll be much cooler. Those lows, check it out. Well, they'll be ticking up into the 70s as we into the next few mornings. They fall into the 50s Friday, Saturday, where we're going to be running about 10 degrees below average. Yes, jacket weather here in South Florida. It is making a comeback by the end of the week. If you're heading out to the beach today, high rip current risk. Maybe get that beach day in before we see the return of some chilly conditions. Keep in mind our coastal areas. We still have those coastal flood advisories because we're still dealing with king tides with our next high tide running between about 9 a.m. to about 11 a.m. this morning. Out across the tropics, we are still tracking tropical storm Sarah. It is beginning to make landfall across the coast of Belize, bringing them some heavy rain and the risk of flash flooding. This will eventually be working its way over the Yucatan Peninsula, where it should be weakening, and we are not anticipating this to regenerate into a tropical system that will try to work its way out across the southern Gulf of Mexico, but really won't be successful in developing, uh, developing into anything. But what we will see is some of that remnant moisture, that tropical moisture being swept up by that very front that will be moving through our area on Wednesday. So that's what's going to increase our rain chances, which is why we are going to be looking at likely a little bit of a wet day on Wednesday with some of that tropical moisture being kind of shoved in by that front moving through. Next weather 7 day forecast. There's our front on Wednesday. Notice we're warming back up into the middle 80s in the meantime. Behind that front, check out that cool out down though. We're talking about highs in the middle 70s. So our high temperatures are going to be similar to what we're waking up to right now. And of course, those much cooler mornings with lows in the 50s.